everybody. I'm Sandra Fellers and um, I have a fun DIY craft video for you today that um, I think you're really going to enjoy. So we're going to start out with just some scrap pieces of wood that I had lying around left over from um, different projects that I've done and um, I love using these kind of things instead of just wasting them um, and it's going to make a super cute project. So um, I'm just going to jump right on in here. I'm going to turn my camera down so that you can see what I've got going on and um, see exactly what I'm doing, a better view of my project rather than of me. And um, we'll just get moving right along. So, okay, I think that's going to work. All right, so we're starting off with the scrap wood and some white acrylic paint. Um, I have the brand called Craft Smart. Um, there's tons of different brands. And I don't think you know necessarily one is better than the other. It doesn't really matter. Um, but just any craft paint that you can get at the craft store or um, you know like Walmart or Target or whatever, um, they all have them. So this is just regular old white craft paint. And then we are gonna use just a cheap, sponge paintbrush. I'm pretty sure this came from the Dollar Tree. And my paintbrush doesn't fit very well in my jar, so I'm gonna put it in just um, a little paper bowl. Um, that way I can just throw it away when I'm done and it makes um, for a nice and easy cleanup. So let's just pour a little bit in here. What? Okay, so what's everybody got going on this weekend? It's supposed to be a rainy weekend here. Um, so far, I haven't seen a ton of rain, um, but we have gotten some rain like overnight and stuff, so um, it's all good. Now these pieces of wood are not your nice smooth finished pieces. They're kind of rough and they have knots in them and things like that, but that's okay because um, I really like the rustic um, feel uh, or style and so that's going to be perfect and um, the same goes for um, when you're painting you know if if you don't have you know a nice heavy paint and you know some of the wood or the knot or whatever shows through I'm not at all worried about that because that just adds to the character of the wood and of the project so we are not gonna be super picky about our paint job so see um, you can probably see some of the little knot holes showing through that's perfectly fine so I'm just gonna try to quickly paint these so that you're not bored to tears watching me paint um, but also um, I want to let this one dry while we paint the smaller ones so I'm ready to start putting out my um, my red, white, and blue, 4th of July, patriotic stuff. Um, so even though we are not going to be using blue in this project, we are going to be using some red and some white and some black. Um, and I think it's going to blend in really nicely with my red, white, and blue decor that I have. And I'll be able to leave it up year round if I want. here. There we go. Put a napkin down. So I don't have so much to clean up later. Okay. All right. So I'm just going to make sure to get all sides covered. And then the transfer that I'm going to use today, um, it's a chalk couture transfer, and um, it's actually made to go on some uh, little wood cutout houses. But we're, I'm going to show you how you don't have to have the wood cutouts to um, use these transfers. 
So hopefully you can still see what I'm doing here. Yeah. Um, these transfers can be used on pretty much anything and still be super darn cute. You just have to get a little bit creative and not be afraid to try. Because with crafting, if you're afraid that you're gonna mess up, you'll never get started. So don't be afraid, especially when you're using Chalk Couture, because um, the Chalk Couture chalk paste is um, super easy to use and it's um it's washable i mean you wash it off with water so if you get it on your hands or your clothes or your table or whatever it, it doesn't matter it's going to come off so you, you don't need to worry about it at all okay so let's move this one aside and got one more to go But fear will stop you in your tracks and you won't ever get anything done if you're afraid. So don't be afraid. If you don't like it, wash it, paint over it, throw it away, whatever. But don't be afraid to try. Almost done here. Okay. So I'm going to set this aside. Get some of this paint off my hands. I'm super messy, but that's okay. It's going to wash off in the sink. Not to worry. Now I'm going to break out my hair dryer just to... Um, speed up the drying process a little bit. Okay. So pardon the noise for a moment while I just dry it. So this is just a like a Clorox disinfecting wipe and so I'm just getting some of the paint off my hands so I don't look so darn messy throughout the whole video. Um, this would have washed off with water as well but I don't have a sink in my craft room so I use a lot of these disinfecting wipes. Makes cleanup easy. Perfect. I think I got it. All right, so let me show you what we're gonna be working with. All right, so see, this is the house design that I was telling you about. Um, it comes with, I believe, three different patterns, and then there's um, some of transfers that come with words on them, and they're all on one big sheet, and you just cut them apart. 
So this is one of the ones, it says family, has a little heart, and then this is one of the patterned ones. And they're both from the same set, and I thought it'd be really cute to use on these wood blocks. So these are drying up really nicely. I think we can go ahead and start working. I'm gonna move these aside for now. Still got a wet spot over here on the side, but it looks like the rest of it's dry. Okay, so what I was thinking I would do is I would use this um, family design on the larger block and do it like this, and then put the heart over on the end. So that's what we're gonna try to do. Um, I'm gonna be using chalk paste, and um, we're gonna start with the black. So this is black chalk paste. I've already stirred it up, but we'll give it a stir here, make sure that it is mixed well okay perfect i don't know why i'm so messy today but i'm getting everything on me okay now uh we are going to remove the transfer from the backer paper so to do that we're just going to lift it off just like a, a sticker or a decal like so, set that aside. And then I'm going to put the family word over here to the left of the board. Like this. And I'm gonna use a small squeegee and my chalk paste. Load it up and just glide it across. Making sure that the entire screened area is covered and then coming back and removing the excess. Okay, let's lift this up and see. I might have missed a spot here. Let me. Let me go over it one more time because the um, the wood is textured, so I want to make sure I'm getting it in the groove so I get a nice design. Okay. Let's do this. Oh, look at that. That is perfect. Perfect. What do you guys think? I have terrible handwriting and that is just beautiful handwriting. I wish I could um, write as pretty as that. So I'm gonna use my hair dryer again to dry it. Okay, so the chalk paste dries really fast and the way that you can tell it's dry is um, when it goes from a semi-gloss to a matte finish. So now we're going to be using the candy apple red chalk paste. <clears throat> and I'm going to go ahead and use the mini squeegee. Now that this is dry, I can place this transfer on here and not worry about messing up my lettering. So I'm going to put this on here somewhere on the side like that kind of right next to my lettering without covering it up and I'm going to put it on there in this beautiful red oh I love red red is like one of my favorite colors I like to actually wear red a lot. 
I love Christmas and Valentine's Day when everybody is wearing beautiful bright reds. And of course, patriotic clothing that's red, white, and blue as well. Okay, so I think I've got all the excess off. I think I got it all in the grooves. So let's lift this up and see what our heart looks like. All right, look at that. Perfect. Okay, so project number one says family with a little red heart. That is too dang cute, guys. I love this. All right, we're going to set that aside and let it dry. And then we're going to work with some of our smaller blocks here. Let's see, which side do we want to chalk on? This one seems to be rougher. I don't know. Might just chalk on both sides. Let's see. So we're going to be using this design on these two small pieces, and I'm going to show you how um, not only can you use a house design on a little square block, but you can um, you can change things up just by changing up the colors, changing up the surface, all that kind of stuff is super duper fun. So I removed the backing paper. And I'm just going to go ahead and do these at the same time. So I'm going to go ahead and lay it on top of both of them. Okay, and I'm going to use this same red. And do the second one. So these little pieces I thought would be perfect, um, just kind of little filler pieces for something like my tiered tray, because the um, the tier um, the you know to get something on the bottom tier it can't be very big or it's not going to fit in there. So these kind of little things are perfect to add a little pop of color in the tiered tray or just to fill in a basket or um, a shelf area, whatever it is that you're working on. All right, so there is the red. I think it's pretty darn cute. What do you guys think? Okay, I'm gonna dry this so that we can then do the other side. what I thought I would do is put the black on the opposite side and that way you could use either side front or back um, and you would just flip it over let's make sure it's not quite dry yet let's dry it a little bit longer on the other side might have to lay it out a little differently than we did the first time yeah, I'll put one over here okay so we're gonna put one right here And then we're going to put one down here. Just so that we can do two at a time. 
we could always do one, lift it up, and then put it over and do the other one. But we're going to do them both at the same time. All right, so now I have my black. And let's put that on here. Slide. Okay. Oh, the black and white is beautiful. Okay, one more to go. And then we're going to get out some ribbon and decide if we want to add some ribbon to these. Here we go. So now we have the black and the red is done. So I'm going to drop this in a pan of water so that it can just soak and not, um, not dry in the screen. I don't want the chalk to dry inside of the screen. I've made a lot of mess over here and we'll have to clean this up when we're done. But like I said, it is chalk so it washes off. Okay, there's the bulk of it. So, I was wondering, especially on the red side, it would be cute to add some patriotic ribbon. So, I have this cute little red polka dot. And this one's not open yet. Let me open this one. And then this nice blue that has cute little red, or cute little white, excuse me stars on it and I thought that would really dress up the red side and make it look more patriotic so just thinking let's see how would we do this should we put the bow on top or uh, wrap it around let's see here I'm thinking I'm going to make a tiny little bow and glue it to the top. Okay, so to do that, what I like to do is cut several pieces. Put the lid back on my chalk paste. I like to cut several pieces of um, ribbon. And I like to cut them at an angle. And it's, it just needs to be a tiny little bow, so I'm going to do it about that big. Okay, and then I'm going to use a larger piece of the blue to tie my bow. So what I do is I take one strip here. Oh, did I miss one? One strip here. And I need to cut one more. So now I'm going to come back and um, alternate it with a red. So I'm going to put a red one there. 
and a red one there. Then I'm going to come back and do the blue. 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 Red. Red. So we're just alternating back and forth. You can use more than two colors. Make it your own. Do it however you want. Um, but then I need to come back with a long piece to tie off. So I'm going to put the long piece on there and then I'm going to hold this little X and flip it over. I'm not sure I've ever made one this tiny before. Let's see how this works out. I think the smaller ones are harder to do. Okay, so I'm just gonna tie it really, really tight into a knot. And then we'll flip it over and spread it out and see if we need to trim any of the edges. Okay, so have my knot. And now we're just gonna start separating these out a little bit. Okay, what do you guys think so far? Is this an easy enough bow that you think you could do it on your own? That one looks kind of long. I probably need to trim it. See, this one right here looks longer than the rest of them. It's sticking out a little too far. I'm gonna trim it. All right, so now we have a cute little bow. Got to figure out what we're going to do with it. I was thinking of doing something like this. What do you think? Where I just glue it right on the top. So let me grab my glue. So I'm always using this E6000 glue. Um, people are asking me about it all the time. So I'll drop a link um, in the description so that you can easily find it. Um, it dries clear and it's got a super good um, strong hold. So I'm just gonna put a dab of it right here on top of my block. Then I'm going to put my little bow right there, and I want it to kind of stand up. You see what I got going on here? I want it to stand up and not lay flat. So hold it there for a few seconds. Here so it doesn't drip out. So what do you think? With the bow or without the bow? I like the bow. And then of course you can use the black side. So right now I'm doing red, white, and blue. So I'm gonna do it like this. And then um, I can always change the bow out or take the bow off if I wanna use the black side and don't want the red and the blue. So, what do you guys think? I think I love it. And I can't wait to display it so that I can take a nice picture and post it for you. So here are these pieces, one last look. Super simple, anybody can do it, super fast, and you're gonna have a fun, unique, creative uh, display that you're not gonna see at any of your friends' houses. So this has been a lot of fun. Thanks again for joining me. 
Um, for those of you who are new, I hope you enjoyed it and um, I hope you'll join me again. I try to do a new video every Sunday, so be on the lookout next Sunday for a new video. Um, and for those of you returning, I really, really appreciate you hanging out with me again and um, letting me uh, come to you uh, once a week to share my uh, love of crafting. And um, I've been seeing some of the projects that you guys are working on. You've been posting them in um, the Hen House Crafting Club. Um, if you guys, if you new guys are not in there, leave me a comment or send me a DM and I'll get you the link so that you can get in there. Um, but I share some of my crafts in there and then everybody else in there shares what they're working on. And it's a lot of fun to see what everybody's been working on. You guys are so creative and you've been sharing some super cute projects. And I just wanted to say thank you. I appreciate you, um, sharing your creative crafts with us. So you guys have a wonderful Sunday, and I'll see you again next week. Bye.